Hello folks, Sam from the Tortoise Farm again here today. And just following up, I've got an interesting video for you here. You know, we're hatching a lot of animals out on the farm all the time, hundreds, hundreds of animals. And uh, you know, sometimes, you, you, every so often you'll get an animal that's hatched and they've got some kind of deformity or some kind of an issue and everything. But you know, we're like the Marines here. No man is left behind. And so this little guy, he, when he hatched, he had a bunch of his friends in there he got at, he hatched with, but they tore his insides out. So when we found him, his egg yolk was all torn to pieces and his intestine were actually out of his body, laying out of his body, all of his, his GI tract. So, you know, real quick, you know, we jumped on it, uh, to, uh, hey, he's, he's feisty now. Anyway, the following video clip is, is actually what we, you know, how we treated him and everything. And it's about two weeks now. And look, boy, he's, uh, he's eating now. He's, 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 uh, he's feisty and he's strong. So, you know, that was a real success. Well, folks, Sam from the farm again. The farm, we're always dealing with something. Today, baby rhinos are hatching. And take a look at this one here. An unfortunate, uh, uh, little rhino, uh, it's not a rhino, it's a Lewis I, right? No, that's a oh, rhino. Rhino. So, this is, look at this poor guy here. This is somewhere he hatched out and, you know, his egg yolk is, is, is um, just, it's all falling apart there. And he's got this vermiculite. So, the only chance you really have of saving this guy is to, one, is to kind of separate that egg yolk from the organ because... You know, I, I have to close this so that bacteria doesn't get in here and isn't, doesn't infect this guy. And so that's what I've got to try to do is separate the egg yolk from, from, let me just start going at it here. You can tell, see here, this is just, this is just that meat. That's that meat that is actually the part of the egg yolk right there. All this is just egg yolk. See how it looks, see the consistency of it there. So somehow I have to get that out of there. I've got to find where it ended and where it start, you know, where it comes from on those organs, which are incarcerated as it's called right now, because they're going through that opening. I'm using my fingers. I know people are probably wondering why am I using my fingers, because this is so contaminated right now. I'm sure that doesn't feel good. Okay, you're right. So, yeah, it's still, you know, I'm just going to wash this. Just let the force of the water, I'm going to clean this up. He's just pushing his insides out. Oh, it's a disaster. Everything is coming out. Oh. Looks like his intestines pop, right? This still looks like egg yolk. It does, yeah. Well, it don't make much of a difference right now. Wow, I didn't know that you had stopped. So, all of this turned out to be that egg yolk, and you can see his organs, they're down in there. So we're just gonna to continue to wash this out. That's the whole secret to keeping this animal alive. Try to get all this contamination out of here. I'm just flushing here with a dilute betadine solution, trying to get as much contamination, debris out of that wound and clear out as much bacteria as I can. Yeah, I know what you're thinking here. Why didn't I anesthetize him? It's just because he's so young and he's so small, I just didn't think I could reliably do it without just causing his death. 
Oh, you see all of this is, is like it's glued there. You see that? That's why I can't shut. Yeah, it makes sense. Wow. Can you glue it, super glue it? Yeah, yeah the thing is I don't want to glue the organs. Still needs to get cleaned up a little. If I can get this area cleaned up. Yeah, you see, I don't want to leave chunks of egg yolk in his body. It has no way of being reabsorbed anymore because it's not actually connected to anything. Stop, stop, stop. So that's actually just a big hole in his body right now, and I can't leave that hole there. I've got to I've got to seal that hole up. I have to keep debriding this wound here. I've got to get as much bacteria out of that wound as possible. I'm actually spraying the betadine inside his body cavity, and I'll drain that a little bit later. Why did you do it? You recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna put him under a little bit here. He's upside down and I'm putting pressure on his eyes. And then he'll calm down a little bit. This is an old trick. I think it's the vasal nerve stimulation, vasal vagal nerve stimulation. You want to open up that crazy glue? You can you can put the phone down, and we'll just pick it back up again. The top you push in. Mm. Nice. Okay. Oh. Um, this is, you can take this, this comes off. It has a snooter on the end. Yep. Yep. Here, I'm gonna let you you do it, okay? Oh. You got better, sure, better eyes. And all we're gonna do is just get work. this here. We're just going to don't, well, I gotta pick the skin up a little bit. I don't okay. think there's no way for us to, to video this at the same time, so we won't. Basically, what I've got to do is is to pick, pick it up so it doesn't hit the organs. Yeah, it doesn't hit the organs. Okay. Right, right there, Mary. That yeah, little hole. Blue. Right there, right there in that little hole. Yeah. Oops. That was a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to get that off his body and then just run up and down that. We have a don't you know okay that's good. We're good there. We're good. Just get that one drop off his body there. No, oh, pick him up. Okay. It's better to let it dry. You might have to stay where it's a hard spot. Right. Tweezers there. here. Yeah. Oh, we should have used that too. Okay, so we just glued that muscle tissue together, and uh, we just used the tweezers to put a little bit of glue, and then just um, press the, the sides together. See if we can. I'm not sure we can get this skin closed. I may just let that heal the way it is. Probably better to let this heal just the way it is. We'll treat this with um, blue coat like we usually do. And we'll put him on uh, 
put them on antibiotics, get them hydrated, paint this with the blue lotion we have, keep them warm and, and, and hope for the best. That's all we can really do here. Just give them the best chance. So there he is. We'll follow along on that case and see how he actually does. He looks out of it, huh? His eyes are closed. Take care, folks. Finish up now. Giving him uh, hydration. Going to give him fluids and antibiotics. Not going to tube feed him yet. As he's just hatched. And the antibiotics. This is egg yolk here, see it? That's what's dried around his body. Is that egg yolk. This is just sub-Q fluids. the bubble. There we go. And we'll just follow this case along and see if we're able to save him or not. Um, you know, I wish we had uh, been a little bit better prepared or at least maybe had more time to deal with the organs that were exposed, but Washed it off with betadine, kept it really clean, get out all the particles, closed it up, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that's that's good enough to save that guy's life. Take care, folks. Hope you like that. Okay, video. that's it, folks. So if you like that video, please give it a like and subscribe. It's so important for me. I really appreciate it. That's a wrap, folks. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.